Hey everyone! So today I want to talk to you a little bit about makeup safety. Um, I just happened to have the TV on this morning when I was getting ready and there was a program on called Dr. Oz. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it. It's basically about medical stuff and I never watch TV so the odds of me happen happening to have this show on at this particular moment is unbelievable because they had a segment on there talking about um, makeup safety and as soon as they mentioned that it was going to come up I was like you know oh, I have to see this and um, so there were a couple things on there that I want to pass along to you things that I have been doing that are not safe and I won't be doing them anymore and I wanted to make sure that you all knew about it um, number one water lining and tight lining. Um, I figures I just mastered this so that I could do it easily with no struggle and apparently it's just not safe. Um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with those terms basically I'm just talking about putting eyeliner right on that area above your lashes right along the waterline and tight line is just the one on your upper lid right underneath your eyelashes. Um, it's not safe because you could very easily poke your eye with the eyeliner and I actually have done that you know accidentally at times and it's very very dangerous because your eyes are so sensitive that you could easily tear the outside layer which could cause an infection and if you get a bad enough infection and you don't recover from it you could go blind so it's just not worth it to me um, it, I like the way it looks and everything but when it comes to eyeliner your best bet is to put it either under your eyelashes or right along the lash line but not over your lashes and same thing with your your top lashes it's just it's not worth it to me it never even occurred to me that what I was doing was dangerous so I wanted to pass that along to you guys and also they were talking about makeup remover and removing your eye makeup now I have been using jojoba oil for quite a while now maybe um, a little over a year I would say and the reason why I was using it is because it removed my makeup my eye makeup so easily and um, the reason, and I'm not going to be doing that anymore either, and the reason why this is not a good idea is because any kind of an oil, um, when, you're, when you're removing your eye makeup, if you use an oil, it could clog the little pores where your eyelashes grow, and if you get a clogged pore, you can develop a sty. Now, I've had a sty one time before a long long time ago and I had no idea that that's what this was caused from and um, I was able to treat it myself and get rid of it but a lot of times it just gets worse and worse and it's very painful and sometimes can require surgery so you definitely don't want a sty in your eye now they can be caused by other things but we won't even bother to address that today because I'm primarily concerned about you getting one from removing your eye makeup. So don't use an oil to remove your eye makeup. Um, I have been doing that and I was even recommending it but I had no idea that that could cause eye styes and I'm going to be probably buying an eye makeup remover today now that is oil free. Um, and uh, another thing that they mentioned is when you're removing your eye makeup is not to rub any harder than you have to. Actually, the best thing you can do is take some eye makeup remover, put it on a cotton ball, and press it against your eye, and just let the eye makeup remover do its thing, and just hold it for a few seconds, and then you'll find that most of it is going to come off all by itself without you having to rub because you could accidentally rub, you know, a delicate area on your eye, same thing, cause damage. So these are all good tips. And then one last thing they talked about is don't sleep in your eye makeup. Always remove it before you go to bed. Now, a lot of people don't, you know, do this on purpose. Um, they either forget or they're too tired. Well, take that extra step, it's important, because if you sleep in your eye makeup, 
when you're sleeping and your eye is moving around as you're dreaming, it could rub up against all this makeup and it could damage your eye or um, you could develop an infection just from all the bacteria of the makeup being, you know, with and in your eye. So you want to get that off of there at the end of the day because once your eyes are closed, it makes you more susceptible to getting some type of infection from bacteria. Okay, so those are all the things that they talked about on the TV show. And then I just also want to throw in a little reminder. We all know you're supposed to throw your mascara out after six months maximum. Don't, you know, don't keep your mascaras beyond six months. Some people even throw it out after three months, but um, definitely get rid of it after six months. I went through my mascaras finally today and I'm going to be throwing all these out because I know for a fact that they are all even older than six months and I should not be using them or have them in my collection, period. I'm getting rid of them. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's definitely a good practice. But there's a lot of um, things, you know, to learn and know about makeup safety. And this is just scratching the surface. But I felt as if these things were very important and I wanted to share them with you. And I would like to thank Dr. Roz because if he didn't have that show on TV, I never would have even known these things. And, you know, he's a doctor, so I think we can pretty much trust his advice on the subject. Um, he had a beauty expert type person come in and, you know, talk about it. Uh, I don't remember what her name was, but... All very good good advice, and I'll be on the hunt now for a good oil-free makeup remover, and I'll probably pick one of those up today. So um, that's it, you guys. And for makeup today, I'm wearing Guerlain Meteorite's Light Diffusing Face Primer, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, Elf Complexion Perfection Powder, Milani uh, Mosaic blush in sweet cheeks urban decay primer potion milani marbleized bake eyeshadow in mingling gosh eyeshadow uh, eyeliner in blue moon maybelline one by one volume express mascara milani lip pencil in number eight star flash and nars turkish delight lip gloss. Um, my sweatshirt is, hmm, Old Navy, I think. <laughs> if it's not, I'll put an annotation in the description box saying what it is if it's not Old Navy. Um, my necklace is from Target. It's the heart lock and key necklace that I did the video about. My ring is from Forever 21. And my watch is Styling Company from Macy's. And if my hair looks a little different today, I didn't really do anything special to it. Actually, it's what I didn't do. Yesterday when I washed my hair, I blow dried it and I didn't straighten it. So these waves that you're seeing here are natural. And um, that's it for today, guys. See ya.